Hey everyone, so you're planning a trip to the beautiful Philippines? Exciting, but before you pack your bags, there's one thing you absolutely can't leave without. Souvenirs. Today, I'm taking you on a journey through some of the best spots in the Philippines to grab authentic treasures. Trust me, you want to stick around for this. Shopping in the Philippines is a great subject, especially when it comes to souvenirs and the unique items that tourists and celebrities alike seek out. I can definitely help break it down into sections. One, what tourists mainly come for. When it comes to shopping for souvenirs in the Philippines, tourists typically look for items that represent the country's culture, craftsmanship, and natural resources. Here are a few things they commonly seek. Local handicrafts. Items like woven fabrics, hand-carved wooden statues, bannock, and handmade jewelry are all sought after. Pearls. The Philippines, particularly Palawan, is known for its South Sea pearls, one of the most coveted and high-quality pearls in the world. Local food products. Tourists often go for delicacies like dried mangoes banana chips, calamansi, and local chocolates like tablia. Cultural artifacts, traditional pieces like santos, pottery, and local artwork. Textiles and weaves. In regions like Baguio or Iloilo, you can find intricately woven fabrics and items like bags, clothing, and accessories made from these materials. Two, top places to buy souvenirs. There are certain places across the Philippines that are known for their great shopping options when it comes to souvenirs. Manila. Green Hill Shopping Center. A famous market for pearls, jewelry, clothing, and general souvenirs. This place is a tourist favorite. Quiapo Market. Known for local handicrafts, religious items, and affordable souvenirs. Cultura Filipino. For higher-end Filipino souvenirs like home decor, textiles, and local handicrafts. Cebu. Cebu's Taboan Market. Famous for dried mangoes, local snacks, and other food products. La Pulapu City. Best for affordable yet quality pearls and jewelry. Davo. Aldavinco Shopping Center. For traditional Filipino textiles, pearls, and handicrafts. Davo is also known for durian and other local treats. Palawan. Porta Princesa. Aside from pearls, Palawan is known for souvenirs like handmade bags, woven items, and locally made shell products. Baguio. Baguio Market. Famous for locally crafted woodworks, woven goods, and fresh produce. Baguio is also known for cool weather items like scarves and sweaters. Celebrities buying local pearls? Celebrities, both local and international, have been known to purchase South Sea pearls from the Philippines. These pearls are considered some of the best in the world, and they're often seen in high-end jewelry collections. Palawan is the most famous area for these pearls. Many high-profile figures visit the Philippines for luxury experiences, including sourcing these exquisite pearls. Four other high quality and affordable items. In addition to pearls, here are other items that offer good quality at a reasonable price. Linen and cotton fabrics. Widely available in Baguio, Iloilo, and Devo. These are comfortable, durable, and come in a variety of patterns. Bag and accessories. Filipino made leather bags and accessories, often made in areas like Marikina, are not only stylish, but also offer good quality. Local wine, Filipino handicrafts, bamboo furniture, rattan items, and other sustainable goods made by local artisans. Five, unique local shopping experiences. Festivals and local markets. Some of the best shopping experiences can be found during local festivals like the Singilog Festival in Cebu, or the Panag Binga in Baguio, where local artisans gather to showcase their crafts. Artisan villages. You can visit places like the Gawang Kame craft villages in different provinces for a more personal shopping experience where you can see artisans at work. Shopping hacks, bargaining in markets in the Philippines. Bargaining is an integral part of the shopping experience in the Philippines, especially in local markets and bazaars. 
Here are some effective tips and strategies to help you navigate the art of haggling respectfully and successfully. Understanding the haggling culture. Common practice, haggling, known locally as Tawad, is widely accepted in markets where prices are not fixed. It's essential to recognize that while bargaining is expected in certain settings, it is not appropriate in formal retail environments like malls or grocery stores. Respectful approach, always approach vendors with politeness. A friendly demeanor can significantly influence your bargaining success. Instead of stating that something is too expensive, try asking if there's a possibility for a lower price. Tips for successful bargaining. 1. Do your research. Before shopping, familiarize yourself with the typical prices of items you intend to buy. This knowledge will empower you during negotiations and help you make reasonable offers. 2. Start low but reasonable. When making your initial offer, consider starting at about 50% of the asking price. This gives you room to negotiate upwards while still aiming for a fair deal. 3. Use silence as a tool. If a vendor presents a price that seems high, remain silent for a moment. This can prompt them to reconsider their offer or provide additional discount. So there you have it. A guide to snagging the best souvenirs while you are in the Philippines. Remember, it's not just about the item itself, it's about the experience, the people, and the culture behind it. I hope you feel inspired to explore these amazing places and discover treasures that tell your own story. If you loved this video, please smash that like button, subscribe for more travel tips, and share your favorite souvenir stories in the comments below.